no one actually gets ready for suhoor. All the TikTokers are liars. But someone was saying that like in other parts of the world, yeah, it's like do. the tradition to like stay up and then they get ready. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to the vlogs. If you're new here, my name is Yasmeen. This is my second Ramadan vlog, so make sure you're subscribed. I'm so excited. Today is Juma, so Juma Mubarak. I don't know why I've been having this intense craving for like a date cookie, and I really wanted to get into the spirit of baking. I swear during Ramadan, I get like a sweet tooth. I want to bake. I just like, I've been really craving that. I'm going to try and make these date filled cookies. This is the recipe I'm going to be using today. It's by Fufu in the Kitchen. I love her stuff i've made a couple of her recipes before and they're always like really really good so i'm really excited trying to follow her recipe to a t i am honestly not the best baker my sister naseem is like an incredible baker mashallah and i feel like i am like more of the cook in the family she's such a good baker i swear we always tell her like you need to go on like great british baking show or something she makes like crazy cakes and cookies so i feel like i definitely need to like text her and ask her if i'm doing things right throughout this process my in-laws also love these cookies so i'm gonna bring them tonight for them um we're gonna go spend the weekend over there we are at my house right now for a couple of days i'm gonna bring the cookies tonight as like a little gift I'm so excited i cannot wait to dig into these once i break my fast tonight getting started on my date filling first. I'm just pitting them and then I'm gonna put the dates in a bowl of warm water for it to soften. My sister-in-law were talking about this the other night but we were saying how some people are like Ramadan cooks or not. Like we personally love to try new recipes during Ramadan. We get so much inspiration like cooking during this month. And then there are people who absolutely dread cooking during the month and are literally just trying to get through the day. I was so thirsty today. Oh my god. Was it done? Hello you guys. I'm actually on my way to the grocery store again because I need to go pick up the other two packs of date paste that I need to finish my mamul cookies. So like y'all saw earlier in the vlog, I attempted to make these on Friday and it was a complete fail. I tried to make my own date paste because I forgot to buy the three packs that the recipe called for at the store. I only got one and I figured like I could just make my own day paste and it was a total disaster. The blender almost catching on fire, like the recipe was just not turning out right, like the dough was not returning out right. Either it was getting very late to thought as well, so I was like, you know what, I just need to like put the dough and the date paste in the fridge and then I will attempt to make this later on in the weekend. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I just did my makeup, I didn't do my lips yet because we have an iftar party tonight at my in-laws house. So I was like, I don't really have time to get ready later. I'm just gonna get ready now. Get the date paste, quickly make them at my house and then if they're good inshallah i can bring them to the iftar party tonight so that's the little plan for today it's about 12 o'clock so i don't have a ton of time but i think since i already made the dough it won't take as much time it's just gonna be like rolling them out and like making the cookies and letting them bake and stuff so that's the plan it's about like a 15 minute drive to the store so let's go i'm craving the saffron ice cream so bad right now you guys hey, i secured the precious cargo the way this is literally three dollars at the middle eastern store the way i tried to express ordered online on friday when i was struggling and each pack is nine dollars online it's just crazy but i have 
better vibes about making these cookies today and I'm not gonna be as rushed so that's good so now we go home okay I'm home now and I just took the dough that I pre-made on Friday out of the fridge I know I'm gonna get questions is that Baya is from this Instagram store that I will put on the screen I think it's called like Moda Arabia something like that so love it so much I will see if it's still in stock and try and link it for you guys very like tedious it's definitely taking me a long time so i feel like this is the perfect time for me to talk about some of my ramadan goals for this year i didn't get to talk about it in my first ramadan vlog i feel like this ramadan really came when i needed it the most and i'm not gonna lie i think having my period the first week and like not being able to like fast or pray or anything like that kind of threw me off like i'm not feeling as like connected as I have in the past, but I'm very grateful to be experiencing another Ramadan. And this year, I really just wanna work on strengthening my relationship with God, of course, through like a few different things. I definitely wanna be way more like disciplined and like consistent with prayer. Of course, I do pray five times a day, but just like not delaying my prayers, making sure I'm praying them on time and like actually putting in a lot of effort into my prayer, not just like speeding through it or like trying to plan my days more around my prayer, less my prayer around my days, because I feel like that's something that you know, I'm sure so many of us can like relate to that we just get so busy with our day-to-day -day lives and work and school and everything that we just like fit prayer in where we can. But I just wanna be more intentional about prayer and just making sure that I am working on like being more focused during my prayer as well. I feel like my attention span is very short and I kind of struggle to like keep the same level of like focus throughout all the rakats of my prayer. So. I really want to work on that this year. I also share this on TikTok as well, but something I want to try and work on is just reading more Quran. I am so embarrassed like all the time to like ever read or even try and read Quran in front of anyone, like including my own husband. And we've always said to each other, like, especially when we get married, we really want to like prioritize like reading Quran together and like strengthening our Arabic and our ability to like read and write. I genuinely love like listening to Quran. It's so relaxing, like nothing is better for my anxiety than just like Quran. But I feel like like it's important to be able to learn how to read it you know and not just like listening to it so i'm trying to learn but honestly it's such a like mental game you know i feel like i have these like voices in my head that are telling me like oh it's like so embarrassing to be this like old and like not be able to learn or not know that many surahs because there's like young kids who like can do all of this and like i don't know those are just like the voices in my head which i know aren't right like i know that it's okay and there's so many people who are also in my shoes and are like trying to learn and it's like okay if we have that mentality then we're literally never gonna learn so i don't know i'm like trying to just get more comfortable with that and not be so shy to read and like being okay with not being great at it you know it's obviously all about your intention and like your effort and stuff and i know that like God will see that and see me trying and stuff. So it's like more of a personal life goal, but I do feel like everything comes back to Islam in a way and it does come back to like overall trust in God. And something I really struggle with is like over planning things in my head, especially over planning life or getting really anxious about future events or just like the future and trying to over plan everything. I feel like I really need to work on my overall like trust in God and just like strengthening that relationship because i feel like that would really help with anxiety and just like knowing that like allah will handle it it's like not in my hands past a certain point so those are just a few things that i am trying to work on this year let me know in the comments what some of your ramadan goals have been and how you've been and like working towards them what's been helping if you have any tips or advice let me know i would very greatly appreciate it i swear i literally just want to eat this it smells so good so I just finished all the little date filling bowls. Now I'm gonna work on my dough. Okay, here are my cookies. They 
are looking a little bit sad. Some are cuter than others, and they definitely don't all have like a uniform look. Like they're kind of all over the place, but this was obviously my first try. I think these definitely look better, like this one and this one, but I don't really know what was going on down here, and I'm running out of time. Just praying these taste good at this point. 338, it's gonna go in for about 15 to 18 minutes. Here is the finished product. I just topped them with a little bit of powdered sugar. They're not the prettiest. They definitely don't look anything like the picture that they're supposed to look like. I feel like the hardest part for me was working with the dough and then keeping the date filling covered. I don't know how to explain that, but I feel like it kind of like opened up. That's probably because of the dough. But for my first attempt, I'll give myself like a B minus. I'm gonna pack them in a little like container but I can change tonight, and I'm gonna change my outfit. I wanna wear this like blue abai that I have from the old collection, and I wanna wear jeans. I'm just like really over being in the dress. And tonight we have a big affair with some of like my husband's uncles and aunts and stuff and cousins, so I think it'll be fun. But honestly, I'm a little bit nervous to like give them these, so I might just like not put it out there because I haven't even been able to taste it, and they're literally all like the best chefs, so. That would be a little bit embarrassing if I gave them like nasty cookies. That's a lot of meat. There's the garam masala. Mm -hmm. The meat. The garam masala is better than the one. Oh, now. We yeah. just did the salt and the garam masala. Garam masala. Yeah. Rice. Rice. How long do you have to cook this for? For the big salt. You're gonna leave it for. Then you leave. You get bone with the bone. Yeah, with the bone. It tastes better. Uh, really? I wonder why. Because the bone has the flavor. flavor yeah. yeah. Put a little bit sugar and brown it. Then I put water in it to oh, give wow. color. And then you put the rice in there. Yeah. This has to be a little bit salty. Hello vlog. I'm heading to the masjid tonight. We're doing a star there and then tarawih. I'm meeting my sister-in-law and I want to make a quick little iced coffee before we leave. This is literally my first time ever wearing a hijab color that's not black and I'm like obsessed with it. I tried to do that like modal style that I see all the girlies doing on TikTok where you like straighten the front and you drape it over the side and I Low key, I literally feel so pretty. I'm just doing like a black dress and then a plain black abaya on it. But I swear, something about like full hijab and abaya just makes me feel so beautiful. I'm gonna make a quick iced coffee. I'm gonna bring some dates and then a water and then we're gonna go. I just got this new um, pink Simple Modern cup. I have the big, large like water jug from Simple Modern and I love it. And I was at Target trying to find a cup that I could use to bring iced coffee and stuff to the mosque because I don't have like a good to-go cup that doesn't spill everywhere and that's also cute and it looks more white on camera but it's actually a really cute pink color and it's the perfect size so I'm so excited to make a little coffee in this tonight. We do some vanilla almond milk. Guys, this morning I completely slept through suhoor which was terrible but why is it that like when you sleep through your alarm and you don't wake up you're always like way less tired and hungry and thirsty. I don't know, I so swear whenever I try too hard, I'm always like the hungriest. I don't know what the science is there. It literally makes no sense. I need to hustle because if thought is in like 20 minutes, I'm definitely late. These are ready. Let me get a date. The true Ramadan vibes. It's traveling with dates in your bag. <laughs> the only thing about this hijab style is I feel like 
keeps moving around. Like, I have to adjust it, but I'm like, I do touch my hair all the time trying to fix it. So it's just the equivalent of that. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go to the machine. So we make two versions of bolani. One is majority with potatoes and the other is with like leeks. Personally, the leeks are my favorite. Here's our dough. It's looking amazing. My mother-in-law is so good with like making homemade dough. And I swear, it makes all the difference. Today is actually not too bad for me. Like fasting-wise, yesterday I was so tired and thirsty because I kept missing my subud alarm. Like I literally missed it like four days in a row. Today I was like absolutely not like Baba, you need to make sure that I wake up. Okay, cut the onion, the garlic, pear. So this is for the filling of the bolani. It's just one white onion. We're about to add our spices. Okay, now we're gonna add turmeric, cumin, and coriander. Black pepper. Oops. <laughs> I think that's oh, it's gonna be spicy. <laughs> It'll be good. <laughs> So we added the onions, garlic with the spices to the boiled um, mashed potatoes. Now we're just gonna mix it all together. It already smells so good. So you would say it's an appetizer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not like the main meal for no, people. No, no. Like appetizer. Like samosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some people, they eat this, just this. Mm -hmm. around lunchtime with dough and chutney and stuff oh yeah because it makes you so full yeah and back home they mm -hmm. are not making any other dish with it mm. but here you would say it's like the appetizer yeah yeah here they don't want to stop this <laughs> just added um cilantro in it i just mix it up so cilantro makes everything taste better. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're also gonna make the leek version of the bologna. So we're just cutting it up really finely. Wow, well, I need to learn how to cut like that. <laughs> Expert. I learned it from my mom. Oh, really? She was the best. Like yeah. you're doing it so fast that would have taken you like five minutes. <laughs> Practice makes you good, sweetie. You're young, mashallah. Yeah. You're gonna do better than me. That's so sweet. I don't know about that. Mm. <laughs> Trust me. You will do better. Oh, you're doing it fast. Gonna make some chutney, mint, jalapeno, cilantro, garlic. What else? And some uh, bell pepper. Oh, you take the dough and then you put it in the flour? Yeah, to not stick to my hand. So you flatten it out, like you see, folding it in, folding it in, and then you make it into a ball. Yeah, yeah. You do it so it's fast so too. Oh, that's yeah. literally perfect. <laughs> My sister-in-law is making. What is it again? What's the dessert? Let me get the name right. So <laughs> I'm gonna make it a few days ago and I was like so jealous. I was gonna miss out. I know, really good. I'm taking off my rings. We're gonna get straight to business. Uh, put your hand in the flower sheet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's sticking. Oops. 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 I don't get three of it here. And now I can really keep it so is that enough? Is that enough? Or more? Let's. I will get something too. From here. Here. Okay. Move it. From the other side. Yeah. Your side. It's sticking. I know you have to get flour. I didn't do enough. Dude, this is hard. I know. It takes time to. 
Okay. Yours look perfect. <laughs> I'm still on my first one. You have to put in some flowers. She definitely did like 10. How did yours get flat? <laughs> the roof. <laughs> she wants to hang out with us. Oh my god, yours versus mine are. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I folded it and then folded it again. You have to watch me and copy. I'm trying, but you're so good at it. <laughs> no, sweetie. I'm trying to copy. Okay. Let's How would you fix this? Like, what would you do to this? Okay. See this side? Mm hmm. Okay. A little bit more to get this small. And then you turn it around. See, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Here. Okay. Okay. Why do I wear black? I'm getting flower Do you want to wear it? No, 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 it's okay. Okay, my mother in law's slayed. Mine sucked. This is so much harder than it looks. Like you make it look so easy, but I swear it's so much harder. No, it's just the technique of you. Yeah, learn but the technique is it. hard. Like you do this, and yeah. since like nine and ten, I was doing this. That's crazy. I would cook bread and tanur. Your mother-in-law went through. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Yeah. Like this way. All of these are ready. She's making what what? Is that how you say it? I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I swear my Ramadan craving all month is literally just dessert. I crave chocolate chip cookies ice cream, ice cream sandwiches, brownies, everything. That was never me. Aw, thank you. I'm ready. I don't want to eat them immediately. <laughs> Y'all, look how good these look. They look delicious. I cannot wait to eat that. These are all the leek ones, pandana. Okay. Do we do threes or twos? What, what mm. size you like? There's no. Probably do three. Yeah. Oh my god, I keep almost eating it when you're baking. Oh no, you I know, it's fingers. so tempting. And you want to clean your fingers yeah. off. And you want to like lick it off. That was good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Buttery, crispy, creamy. Sorry. I don't know where the napkins are. Alright, y'all. Let's do a taste mm -hmm. test. Bismillah.
Mmm. Wow, that's incredible. That's really good. Mmm. I'm gonna see if I can get the recipe for you guys.